beautiful soul. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, Mercury goes direct. Yeah, baby. Plus, we have Mars going into saucy, intense, and very ambitious Scorpio. But the best news of all, potentially, is that Venus and Jupiter are forming great magic in our love and passion life. Hello gorgeous goddess, goddess, god of harmony and all things balanced. You may be saying, yeah, Michelle, but I have not been feeling balanced. Oh, oh, no. And that is because Mercury, the planet of communication, has been retrograde, as we know, and tipping those scales and making you feel like you are a Ferris wheel and not the scales of balance. Anyway, good news. Mercury, planet of communication, is going direct. yes. He is still in shadow, so there may still be, you know, a little few things to get over. But fundamentally, you are fiercely, you are passionately, you are strongly and optimistically going after what makes you feel secure. You are ready to grasp and claim and, and shout from the rooftops your self-worth. You are realising your value this week. And you are also feeling like you want to feast on life's pleasures. You want to be sensual. You want to be at the core of your passion ability. Good for you. Mercury is going direct. You're feeling much better. And if you've been feeling a bit like, wow, I'm insecure. What's going on? That's all shifting this week. On top of that, we have the sun at shifting signs and going into your idea zone. You are literally an ideas generator. You know, if you write, it's a fabulous week to get writing, get your ideas out there. It's good to talk to people and convince people of what you want. So it's all very, very positive. We then have Venus and Jupiter poof, forming this amazing conjunction. You know, imagine those two joining forces. Venus, planet of love. Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. You know, it's incredible. And for you, there's a very important conversation this week that should make you feel loved, should make you feel optimistic. You're reclaiming your power this week. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, Libra, let's pull three cards for the week ahead. Now, of course, use your intuition to see if this is right for you or just learn from the wonderful wisdom of the cards. Let's see what situation is arising for you this week. Firstly, the Page of Wands, then the Three of Pentacles, and then the Nine of Pentacles. You're feeling more adventurous. You're feeling like you can get out there. You're excited about the potential and possibility. There is a passion rising in you. And you're determined to lay some strong and secure foundations. And you know what? When we build firm foundations, you know, that's when we can reach this, which is feeling at one with ourselves, feeling not only a material life, but also a balanced spiritual life and feeling abundant and central and in our power. That's what you're heading towards. But you know there's a certain element of hard work to that. You know there's an element of you having to be adventurous. Do not hold back. If you know that you've got to change and go on an adventure, if it means leaving someone behind, particularly a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, you know, the time is now. Victory is achieved through going forwards. Yeah, baby, the sun. Take your victory. Get on your horse. Go on that adventure. Leave the past behind. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. People often say, Michelle, can I have a personal reading? I'm not doing them at the moment, but I have a fabulous team of psychics and I'm going to start to introduce them. Here's my wonderful psychic, Seven. Hi, I'm Seven, a spiritual medium psychic. When I'm communicating messages from, from spirit to you, I'm also looking at the, the evolution of where you're going in, in your life, in your journey. I'm answering questions, but then also looking at the wider reasoning around what's happening as well. What I always do is give the truth because I'm giving the information that's coming through for me and so sometimes that comes across to some people that could be quite harsh or they want me to change information. That's not what this is about. This is about what's coming through from spirits. But ultimately a reading with me is there to help. Most of the time I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself as in seven giving that. It's actually coming from spirit. This work is 
incredible, it's joyful, it means so much that I'm able to give that gift to somebody that ultimately is going to better their, their life. Thank you.